right at the rim, just could not finish. Henry off the pump fake, working against their own more sell, and Henry on round one gets the better of the defensive player of the year in the league. Aaron Duty Day, they want to beat an elite team like Michigan State. Henry backing down against Morcel. Morcel staying with him, and this time the defensive player of the year in the league gets the better of Aaron Henry. Gabe Brown nowhere to go. Shot clock again at three. I don't think he knows it. Henry's going to have to launch, and he hits. You heard the shot clock in the background go off, but it is to go. Kithier the rebound. Spartans on the run. 90 seconds until halftime. Aaron Henry will pull the trigger on the three, and the rebound spiked by Kithier. He's fouled. The Spartans in their attack. Well, that always has to be an emphasis against Michigan State for as long as you can remember. Michigan State, the first 10 seconds of any possession, they burst down the floor to try to find an easy bucket as well. Hogarth will back it out. Here's Aaron Henry. That three off the heel. Offensive rebound for Michigan State, and he went inside against Langford. Good defense in the block by Langford. Here's Henry. That pull up floats off. No good. One for 12. Michigan State from the floor. Alla. Almost a turnover. Now Michigan State in scramble mode with Aaron Henry. Aaron Henry will pull the trigger on the three. Rebound, Eric Ayala. And look at the pass. He's got 18. Henry. That pull up is good. Just the eighth point of the day for Aaron Henry. In college basketball, can they return to that form? Can Minnesota find the form that at one point had them 16 in the country, but like and wait it out? They'll stay in Indianapolis. Correct. Henry, the jump stop gets to the rim and he puts that one over the right side of the ten. Michigan Surgeon and staff are going to be happy to come up with a game plan to try to slow him down. Henry with the turnaround fadeaway. That is good. And Aaron Henry getting a little rhythm late in this one. But boy, at the box, he can dominate. Michigan is one of eight from the field to open up. Henry, pull up. And it's rebounded by Smith. The players in the country averaging at least 15 points, five and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, and 1.3 blocks per game. Henry. There it is. And against the zone, a good read by him. Had the size to elevate over the... Nice snap back. And that was once again Bingham bringing energy. He does have some length. Henry. And it's rebounded by Shondi Brown for Michigan. Back to back against an opponent. And right now offensively, they haven't really... Yeah, this is what I thought they should have been doing. Get it to this guy. Let him go to work a little bit. Either hand would be a little quick jack there, but he is so good. Passionate as a mic. Rocket watch with the shot clock winding down. Driving in. Beautiful switch of the hands for Aaron Henry. He is Smith, six seconds. Corner. Wagner. Short. Rebound. Bingham. Henry tosses. Just a little bit short as we hit. Watch played very well in the first half. Leading all scores with 11 points. This is where I like him. He can do so many good things. Got to make that shot, though. Kick it out for Hall. Get Henry on the move here. Henry looking for an opening. Ready. Sneaks in for two. He's too good. I mean, he really is good off the bounce. Only two losses this season for Michigan. January 16th at Minnesota and the other night against Illinois. And, of course, Brooks did not play the Minnesota game. To see if they can take advantage of him. Tight defense from Smith on Hoiberg. Now it's Henry. Drive, throw it up. Tank shot, no. Bingham couldn't follow Janet. Knocked around. Off the miss by Rocket Watts. Offensive rebound. Nice job on side to side here. Mismatch against Dickinson. Henry. Off the mark. Tapped over to Dickinson. Paul gets the step initially, Livers recovers. Going strong, Henry, off the back of the iron. And last touch, Paul on the handoff for Watts. Got to go. Henry against Wagner, shot clock at three, at two. Step back, Jay. Oh, Henry from the outside. 
Go to himself. Henry. Against Wagner. Keep your hand now. Bumping body. Steps through. Plays it in. Reverse style. Boy, the length helped him. Franz Wagner with the left hands. Henry comes back the other way. Down the lane. And an off-balance drive. Looked like a Euro step. And got He's got it here. Gives it up to Henry. He spins inside, and that finally gets the Spartans on the board. You know, Henry's been a super two in the long rebound to Marcus Bingham. Aaron Henry drives it down the lane with a statement. That is big time round. Two triple doubles against conference teams in the Big Ten. Io and the Magic Man. Oh, nice backdoor car! Nice backdoor car! That's basketball! That's Magic Johnson! The nine. Take away vision. Aaron Henry, right around Dickinson, score it plus the foul. Tell you one thing, he's quick with the that with Dickinson on the bench. That's a good start. The takeaway by Langford. The lob to Henry. He'll reverse it. That won't go. Tough shot. Tough shot. Should have used the bounce pass there. See the trade. He should try to take him right there. Get the third foul on him. Attack him. I'm gonna attack inside. Henry with a scoop after his own miss. He's got it. Ball back to him. Take him one-on-one. -on -one. Spread the court. Spread the court. He's not going to guard him there with two fouls. A scoop oh, ball for Aaron Henry. Run. Henry. Michigan State, State, State could use a similar comeback as they go to Aaron Henry in the post. And he banks one in. Henry needs I can't wait to see Kofi Hoburn as well. We're going to see him against Ohio State. And certainly TJ Lydell will challenge him on the inside. Shooting the ball has been very tough here for Michigan State. You got to quit. In the Big Ten, first in fewest fouls, first in field goal percentage defense. So they defend well, but they don't foul. They're arguably the best free throw. Two in the Big Ten shooting the three. And I wonder where is the weakness in their game because they haven't shown it much this year. No, not really at all. In the two games they were routed, they came back. I was talking about timing play every day. Me and my buddy Smokey Gage, Mike Drucker, we'd be slipping at their doorstep. We'd have had the town rocking like you couldn't believe. They'll come out and they're going to battle and battle and fight. I really feel this game starting to get away with momentum switch on that foul that was called, what they call that scenario, a good mindset. I think a lot of former players do really well coaching in the NBA. Aaron Henry can't connect. He has 14 points in that 73-55 loss this weekend. But here's another drive to the basket. Henry rejected by Race Thompson. And then taken away by Jackson Davis. Rowline line and Rob Finnessy making something happen off the bounce. He has four points in the lane. Off balance, Henry missing. And here's Finnessy with a full head of steam. Euro steam for the youngster. Now Henry. Back and down Galloway. Henry no, follows it no. And Aaron Henry, who had 27 in the first meeting, is 0 of 3. Henry off the window, and there is his first field goal. I love the play call by Tom Izzo. Teams under 30%, combined 1 of 10 from outside the arc. Henry steps into an 18-footer and knocks it down. You can see he smelled blood on that play. Marble. Thompson has two fouls. Here we go, late shot clock again. Henry dials it up. Langford able to Sumu, the only Big Ten players this year that have scored at double figures every game. Off the mark for Henry. And comes Finnessy the other direction. Left. Here to go. Archie Miller opting to leave him on the floor right now. Henry taking it to the rack. Julius Marble absolutely and no good. Driving down the lane. Henry no. Tap back. 
missed by Bingham, but Michigan State keeps. Aaron Henry trying to back down Fennessey, and he does so. Welcome to the weight room. Aaron Henry just going. Still 8.08 remaining. Henry looking for the weight room again, but that time he missed it. Nice rebound there. George three point line. Mark Bingham was coming on that block out. And so Henry ends up with it, but credit that to Bingham. Free throw block out. Late shot clock. Jump stop. And a good bucket by Aaron Henry. Well, the fundamentals coming to play. Point shooter and a senior in Al Durham. One point game. Henry makes it a four point game with a triple. Loser needs some help. Back to Henry. It's Aaron Henry time. Driving by Thompson, stops, puts it up. Ten straight points for Aaron Henry. Boy, take the mismatch. Get five and can't get it. Marbles defense win. Right watch the other way for Aaron Henry, the leading scorer and rebound. Another miss and another three, Kevin. They've yep. taken five shots for their defensive list. For the Terrapins, who played great. 0-6 start Michigan State. Inside, Henry got it to go with a good pass inside. What an incredible play by Hogarth. He just mugged game. It's a good line. Rocket wants. Brown, Hauser, Henry doubled up and down. Nice play there. Doubled. Henry makes it go. Mona didn't get him for Offensive rebound by Brown. This is what Churchin okay, was worried about. The rebound slicing inside. Henry gets another two. By that time, Henry had a chance to right down the hatch. Eric Ayala. See, Ayala, you give him time and he's going to hurt you. Henry trying to push it back up. Langford there in a thicket outside. Step back, Henry. Wiggins there, maneuvering. And it will drop in. That was Masson. They see who they leave open on the perimeter. Malik Hall, he's not a perimeter shooter. Henry again, he will scoop it off. I'll tell you what, the two players that have really four-point win over Ohio State, the number 14 Thursday. They had to come back in that one. Curling move, he couldn't get it. Nice defense. Down court lead pass, Scott. But Michigan State's got to get the ball inside. Rocket wants has five. Henry works a three. Rebound by Dante Scott. Uh, and Tom Izzo just is not happy. Point man, he's got it right now. Henry's on top. Makes a move. Hamilton defending. Look at all the hands. Knock it away and more. Maryland defense with a good looking rebound inhaled by Dante Scott. He'll glide. Nice ball rotation. Henry the fake. And the fire. Oh, Foul. That's down low. Was it on Hamilton? A more Spartan defense. Now the transition game. Henry. Crossover. Five. Knocked away. Great defense inside. And it was Paul Smith. The other way in a swing. At eight. Defended by Hamilton. Brown tries to crowd. Three. Rebound inside and healed by Morshell. Langford making a move. Finds Watts. Henry. The drive. Nice defense. Langford just surrounded by yellow. Gold. It's a nice job by Hamilton to not go for the fifth. They didn't bring in Marble. Outside. They got Henry with a shot. He has grown very cold. Big on top. Morsell in front. Ball in there. Out it goes. Henry thought three maneuvers for two. Got it. Again, it's off. Even it's four is 16. Even with the Maryland turnover, kept Julius Marble credit for stealing his man. Ohio State matches it. There you see the starting lineup without Young. As Musa Jallo, who's been dealing with an ankle injury, is in the lineup off the but net. Gabe Brown just flying off that pin down. He's played really well for Michigan State recently, too. He was huge in that Indiana win on Saturday.
This is the Michigan State that I know. They crush you on the glass, they crush you with physicality, and they are coming in transition. Right now, Ohio State not doing a great job of getting back. Right now. The nephew of Derek Fisher. Beautiful work so far. It's, here's Aaron Henry wide open off the Kithier screen. Kithier set a couple of just nice. I not say that was a chalk outline screen, but he certainly it was not. freed Aaron Henry. That, that was a <laughs> wide open shot and a really good screen. With no depth, Henry, like he said, but it, it'll do. Oh, come on with that. <laughs> Possession here in the second half, up by five. Trying to help itself to another road win. It would be a seventh straight Big Ten road win. And Chris Holtzman has built a monster Big Ten game. And I'd love to see it again, but... We saw Thomas Kithier body Trace Jackson Davis two games ago, and right there, he was really physical with E.J. Liddell. This is our future, people. This is Paramount Plus, streaming March 4th. High-level, almost Final Four feeling type of matchup. Towns, really difficult shot. It's so much at stake for Michigan State. With them trying to build an NCAA tournament resume and so many chances, but they, but tonight they, they've done a really good job. I, I'd say at times their offense is bogged down tonight, and they've been an elite offensive team throughout the course of this season. But their defense has gotten it done. It's the easiest call for an official to two hands on a player. You're going to get it ten Immediate. times out of ten. Totally. Henry makes the first because we're elevated a little bit up here in the uh, Kevin Kugler suite. <laughs> I must but, be in the front row. <laughs> but you're right, he had a player ahead to pay it off. And that's how good Aaron Henry is. He... The road, though, to making March memorable has to start tonight for Michigan State as Henry's floater drops, and so far so good for the Spartans. They're up five. Trying to get it going for Illinois. One and done go the Illini. Up the floor comes Aaron Henry. Henry on the attack against the Sumu. The floater dies on the back iron. Mishanish Philly there for the rebound. Outworking their opponent. Sharing the basketball. Going and getting those offensive rebounds. Henry on the attack around the screen at the top. Gets two at the rim. One point lead so important. You know Illinois shooting about 26%. So any chance you get to put your foot on the gas, you got to keep it on there. Henry couldn't get that bounce to fall. Bishanishvili starts it up. Aaron Henry back down the Subu and the floater drops. Henry playing well. He's got eight. Well, that size line for Watts and he'll reset in the half court. Great decision. Every possession is so important. Tested shot looked like Henry was trying to coax the foul call. Here's Henry, seven on the shot clock, trying to bang against Osuma, forces that one up on the baseline, and Coburn the rebound. Illinois, can they get the running game going? You got to move the ball. It's so easy to defend if you're dribbling the shot clock out. Henry, a little zigzag to get that jumper, and the follow is there for Lang for 12 rebounds. When you, you have a layoff, and then you come back, and your players are, are making mistakes, where do, you, where do you get into them a little bit, and then where do you lay off of them? It's, it's a tough spot to be in for these coaches. Henry, in traffic. No, the follow, yes. Bingham, strong. Making a run at March. They're up by 16 at home. Henry driving down the right side of the lane. And the tip is there off the miss by Marble. That's end of the slower foot speed of the defender. Hit four of their last five shots, which is a good trend for Illinois. That three in and out from Henry to push up the floor. with the shot clock at five the turnaround falls he's got 14. They don't, doesn't get enough credit for see what they do with it here here's henry going baseline and the rejection but it'll count it's a goaltend called on coburn put two on the board 5.45 to go. The Illini back within 10 now. Henry probing. Floater good. Henry providing the lift. 
when Michigan State needed it most. Henry with 18 tonight. Henry on the attack, blocked away, Dosuno loose ball. And the reason I said in a pick and roll is because... Here's Henry. Up and under against Dosumu. Left that one short, and Williams skies in for the board. He's in the kid. Two minutes to go in a 10-point game. Woo! Henry! Ho oh, ho, Henry! The ball to Jackson Davis, the absolute best medicine for Indiana. Julius Marble getting his first start as they go down low and get an easy look to Aaron. Left hip, the right hip. They're a little bounce, a little pop there, coach. I got to say, and, and, you know, I'm a huge fan of Tom Izzo and what he does as a coach. I got to say there was a little Tommy Lasorda. On the they use Race Thompson the same way. You should see everybody hugging their own man. And if Thompson's going to beat you on the block, then so be it. But he is not a guy that's really capable of doing that 3-4 if you care more about low taxes than tall buildings, if quality of life feels like an oxymoron, if home is the most important word in work from home, team and it's become more fun to watch offensively yeah they really are it used to be that slow slow blocker moving now you got a bunch of guys can go make shots i think this is going to be interesting because you can argue it all you want whatever way you want to bet oh i thought you're going to be there instead he he threw it to the penny millionaires that used to sit there in indiana in that life sometimes though you look and you're just like <laughs> two feet yeah. away so Hello? the lead up to eight now on the foul against Langford. Paul, can you hear me, Jason? I can. Okay. Because he was there, but you take the ball one way, you draw the help, you kick it to the opposite corner. Race Thompson came out sloppy and just got whooped on the drive. Second thing. First, you got to battle Michigan State physically. Second, you got to run at every position with Michigan State. Tighter whistle, that's not a continuation. Bounds it home, it's a 10-point game, but time running out for Indiana in a game that really could have helped cement their NCAA tournament credentials. Well, Michigan State, number one thing. Scores! Boy, is this a great performance. Hey, this is incredible by Jackson Davis. I mean, he's going from the top of the key. He's on the block, he's on the, he's rebounding. He's going against four or five different guys. Somebody going to the rim, get your fouls when they're meaningful. And no, no offense to Thomas Kithier, but he's not exactly a low block scorer who you're thinking is, right. is getting ready to make a big move against you. There's the first all that overpassing, but there's a lot of passing. That one up off the rim, no good. Hall saves it in. So Michigan of Art, it was a Jackson Pollock. It was a beautiful mess, that last possession. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I'll say yes. He should just nod. That. Aaron Henry misses that jumper. Or, or whatever yeah. the actual number is. Well, you're not wrong about that. Congratulations to all of them. Aaron Henry floats through the lane and gets a bucket. There's the drive that LaFonso Ellis. And, and he could barely touch the backboard. I, I mean, he was overweight, came overweight, all that kind of stuff. And what a job Brandon Brantley and the whole staff have done with him.
Henry got into the lane, rattled that one down. Back to big performances from him since then. Tonight is certainly one of them. Henry attacked, had his shot partially deflected. Yeah, I mean, there's a kid named Josh Primo that plays for Alabama that's supposed to be in high school in Canada. And I'm telling you, he is so good, so tough. And this Michigan State and so many teams have committed against Williams all year. Shot clock at 10. Henry switched to the right hand. It goes down one well, point. Now I give the Spartans credit after the way they played on Saturday. This has been an excellent performance. But it won't feel that great unless they can finish it off. Henry fade away. Tough to go back in to Williams and Michigan State deflected it, steals it away. On the break, layup, no good. Hauser finds Henry. Three is good for Aaron. They are. I think Michigan State played really hard. But not playing well. The Rocket Watts are struggling, not feeling 100%. Henry. Michigan State trying to go at Garza. Henry slashing. There we Nicely go. done, Aaron Henry. Gus, last three games, 20 plus points. Kind of the Aaron about his versatility. 40 to 21, big first half for the Hawkeyes. Henry exploding down the line and bangs it down on the left hand. Go back, get Lawyer. Henry, two to shoot, has got to hurry, leans in. No good, gets his own rebound, double pump off the window and in. Aaron Henry has to continue to here in this first half. Four rebounds, three assists. Nice help by Garza. Henry, nice step through, no, batted around, picked up. Here come the Hawkeyes again. Yeah, but you know what? With Garza, he doesn't have to force anything. He's going to get his shots like... A wide open shot, another one for Michigan State. Not able to. Henry, crossover dribble in traffic to the cut off the window softly and. Um, don't say that. I mean, shooters at the next level are always valued and needed. But I know the Iowa faithful want. To see what he does and finish out this year and come back. Aaron Henry the other way. Speed dribble, lost it, picked up. Hogard, left hand, short, and Henry with the follow jam. Just a moment. Give him some Michigan love. State. Give him some love. And you always talk about the effect that the managers have had on you and your career. Let me tell you something. We, we were fortunate. We have a close-knit group of guys. So, right on cue with the example, right? Yep. Here's Henry trying to get down the lane off the glass. In and out. And Luka Garza with the rebound. Foster Lawyer getting the start. has been back and forth at that point guard position for Tom Izzo. Aaron Henry, great look. Just missed the shot. Penn State's defense really predicated on forcing turnovers. Henry yeah, he backed his way in, got a nice look, knocked it down. Kind of hard to believe, Dan. Uh, Josh Langford's recruiting class was Cassius Winston, Nick Ward, Miles Bridges. <laughs> Those sound like names from the past. Aaron Henry hits another shot. A.J. Hogard in off the bench. Michigan State is a lot deeper in terms of the numbers of players that they'll play. Henry attacks, had his shot partially blocked. Shot clock set back to 20 after the foul. Aaron Henry baseline just elevated right over the defense and missed the shot. Yep, you got me. Oh, he's back. Joey Hauser misses the three. And America rejoices. I can hear the exhale all over this country. Aaron Henry is the classic Izzo mold. Just a guy who's going to bully you underneath the basket. Jamie Fike. Man, how many looks is Michigan State? Thing? I mean, they haven't won a Big Ten since 79, and there's a reason. I mean, you know, they got five losses in the league, lost twice to Indiana. Wisconsin, I think, is too old. 
trying to make it two wins in a row, get their 10th win of the year, fourth in Big Ten play. Aaron Henry, good catch, and then missed the layup with some contact. Now the whistle blows. It's going to be a foul. Henry, oh, there was just a little hesitation there, and it opened something up for him. You know, I said Foster Lawyer Hogarth was on the floor. It should have been Hogarth go ahead and grab it and get it back. Last possession. That was a good pass, and Henry finishes with the dunk. That's really good by Defense. Next thing you know, you get an open look after a drive. Terrific out of a timeout, Coach Ferry. Yeah, Michigan State may be a little nervous. Henry missed that shot. Here comes Penn State trying to cut into that. Gabe, number 44. Hauser kind of got bumped off his spot. Tom Henry gets into the lane. That one goes down. Boy, they tried to get they tried to get Brown. Shot clock here for Michigan State up three under ten minutes to go. Big game on both sides. Rocket Watts got cut off. Can they get a shot off? Henry does. In and out and back down in. What a big moment for him. The last lead, Dan, for Penn State before this was six to five. Henry, hesitation, too strong. Bingham, good rebound, one dribble, and he missed. Into the Breslin Center and beat Michigan State. Trying to make it two years in a row. Henry was wide open. I don't know if he realized it. He still found a way to score. What a game for Aaron Henry. Boy, he's dread fighting Henry. Look how far out Henry catches it. He was trying to get it in the lane. Henry, one dribble, high arcing shot was an air ball. Boy, that was great by Miles, loaded it up. Nothing there. Hauser kind of fumbled it. Shot clock is winded down. Henry with Hera right on top of him. That one did hit the iron, but Penn State has the rebound. You know, Jim with 3.10 to go. Well, if Rocket Watts is going to do anything, it's about time he get going here. Aaron Henry. No, he is. tipped up. I think Rocket Watts was the guy who he did, did that in. A good, good energy on, on the defensive end for Nebraska to start out. Managing minutes and energy and time is going to be key here for Nebraska, and it's Aaron Henry who gets that you normally would if you were in rhythm. Just one bucket here so far. We mentioned they've started out one of six. That coming from Mayen. It was a three-point shot as Mayen pulls down the rebound there. Left hand. That was a heck of a pass by Allen. Henry had the first bucket for Michigan State. Off the mark there. Now one of three here to start. Hoiberg made, made an emphasis on that with his team in the first matchup between these two teams. In the first half, Michigan State got whatever they wanted on the fast break. Henry gets the end one off of the pump fake. In the yeah, he does. But he's got that flip phone on the side. And he was quite proud to show us his flip phone. <laughs> he was. And knew exactly where it was, too. Oh, man. 20 turnovers, but that's to be expected. Again, both of these teams have been on a COVID pause for 20 or more days. And Henry getting another bucket. Nine points now for Aaron Hill. Well, Banton's still staying in. That's his third personal, by the way. Kick out to Henry for three, and he just beats the shot clock. I'm going to tell you something. Foster. More than what they are. Should be greater than a single-digit advantage. Hauser still with the zero points. Henry looking for three. And Michigan State will get another. Evening on both ends of the floor. Henry, a little mid-range jumper. Hauser battling for the rebound, but it was off him last. The final eight minutes of this one. And Henry with the steal and the flush. Nice job by Aaron. Michigan State gets some numbers. Nebraska has done a good job getting back in defensive transition. Henry, even with the contact, kind of a spin pirouette move for two. Nice patience here by the Spartans. Yeah, we've seen this a couple of offensive possessions here tonight. And Henry, usually the one to take the last shot, gets his own miss. And it was blocked that time by Walker. Wait. 20 minutes for Joshua Langford tonight. He's a player that Izzo told us has practiced about three times fully since January 7th. Game losing streak come to an end, and they win by three. 70-67, your final score. Marquette 
defeats the Butler Bulldogs. Heck of a ball game. Thank Great transition team, and that was something Fran McCaffrey said they were really worried about was getting back in defense. Excellent work by Hauser to get a second chance, and Henry finishes it off. Five to Lane. I think you have a lot of different guys that you can throw at Garza, but you always want to balance playing him straight up. He's also double. Well, it's Michigan State hot from three to start this game. Since the return from the COVID break, he's hit his first two from deep tonight, and he's going to work again. This two short, got his own rebound, blocked by Murray, and Henry stays with it. He's got ten. He's got a different bounce to his step, and Tom Izzo said after the Ohio. Back up top to Lawyer. He'll launch from three. And a long rebound into the hands of Aaron Henry. Drives it up. No good. Nunji the wall. the top 25 rankings at number 24 this week. It's Henry with the fake, and he floats that one home. How about Aaron Henry with 12 first half? And you're getting production from your bench frontline guys. Henry steps in for the deep two. You know he's feeling it, but McCaffrey with the rebound off that miss, and it's a rare basketball, and I completely agree with that. Yeah, he just, the way he thinks the game is at a high level. Henry trying to answer with a three from deep, no good. Rebound tipped around. Spartans have it. Malik Hall in amongst the trees. Henry will try again. This time he'll hit. Big answer for Aaron Henry. He's got 15. Built their biggest lead tonight. Absolutely. Henry with the pull up. Jumper won't go. Rebounded by Hauser. McCaffrey out with a whistle there. Rotates it around to Henry. His three over Garza drops. We're tied at 57 as Henry with a career helps. Yeah, absolutely it does. Makes a big difference. In the corner, that three is blocked by Patrick McCaffrey, but he throws it right back in to Aaron Henry who says thank you very much. And he's got 20. Never won his offensive rebound off of a missed free throw. That kind of stuff is what gets you beat when you're trying to beat a top 10 team on the road. Henry with a size mismatch shooting over Joe Toussaint. And Henry with 22 continuing his pickle. They tried. It was a little late. But Bingham up to the challenge. Gets the block. And now Henry on the push. Henry in the open floor. Driving all the way to the rim. And it's a three-point game. Perfect execution. You collapse on the point. There's no question in any game he plays in. Undersized center. See what he did the other night, Wednesday, in the victory over Penn State. 22 points as Young clears for the Buckeyes. Langford out at this point. Hauser, nice cut. What a pass inside. Henry, pretty left-handed finish. Nice little bump by Mark. Trying to push. Well, they haven't had much of a transition game this season. I like Hauser's attitude here. Henry. Offensive rebound under Iowa. Ohio State is so impressive, but not a good closeout on Orange. Really not thinking. Three-pointer by Henry won't go as we come up on the final minutes. Telling us in our conversation with him the other day that uh, Tom is the best mid to late season coach Bill in the country for so much respect between these two head coaches. Well, everybody. Spartans down a dozen. Who do they turn to here? Henry. Tough shot. Contested. There's Hauser back onto the floor. Barstay's got to get into their own. Oh, nice There's little a steal. steal off the inbounds. Wow. Henry. Wow. Nine point game. What piece. Young buries it from the baseline. That kid never gives up on a play. Quick trigger three at the other end won't go for Henry in the rebound. Tinkering out now with his lineup. Here's Lawyer pick and roll. Henry raises the front of the rim. Long rebound. Lawyer straight away. Bomb and hits it. And look, Harper gets the basket blocked by Bingham. Spartans in transition. Henry almost lost it, just threw it up. Batted around. Lankford is there. Can he get it to fall? No. Henry driving, steps back, short, and Miles Johnson clears it. Four for Michigan State, all 15-footer short, batted out, gets his own rebound, scoops it. 
Henry, and he knocks down the mid-range jump shot. Good patience that time, and because the defense was spread out. Oh, oh God. Long jump shot. Henry, air ball, and out of bounds. Langford running the lane. Cross court. Henry sets. Rims off. Loose ball. Rutgers has it. Henry off the bounce. And rattled it home. That'll stop the bleeding. A little bit of early offense that time. They dug a hole for themselves early in the first half and did the same thing early here in the second half. Let's see if they can figure it out. Rutgers playing some excellent basketball. Top 25 was in 1961. That happened this week. Did you join the high at that time? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that vividly, right? Because I know you follow college basketball back then. Ah, 56 to 30. No one expected Rutgers to put on this kind of dominating performance against the Spartans as Henry gets the bounce. No. You knew the talent was there. Hogarth not in a position to do anything with it, and they're digging into that clock again. It's down to two, and Henry will be rejected with one on the clock. I think they may get one. Wanted to make sure that he didn't get many looks at the basket tonight. Michigan State wins. It won't be because Aaron Henry went off on them. Here he is right on cue. And at that time... About a guy and you're undersized is where is the help? One of the guards has to come and help you out. Oh, guard, good ball fake. That was beautiful. He got both guys. He was actually double covered, and he did a little shot. Guys do the Spartans to put the ball on the deck and make something happen against that shot clock. Henry again. But you can see the issues. Purdue has eight points. The ball team, they may be. I, I, I love Juwan Howard. I, I just do it. He's great for kids. Turning out that he's a not a good, but a great coach. And who cares what's going on around the rest of the... <laughs> You're right. Henry. Long rebound taken out of there. Hunter. You can get that one. Was saved by Rocket Watts and his athletic ability. Here's Henry, right into the lane. Beautiful shot. Henry! got hit too. Pass oh, oh, Nothing oh, but oh. nylon for Trevion. State down one. Henry in to end. Off the front iron. The iron unkind. And Purdue. For this Rutgers team, it's not a very good free throw shooting team. Even though they can really shoot the ball from the perimeter, they don't shoot well from the line, shooting only about 60%. That's got to change. I was going to say, Peichel's done it to play, and then Rutgers gives it right back. Langford this time settles for the mid range, and it rattles out. Ball tipped by Kithier right to Aaron Henry for the layup. Boy, what a smart play. A quick trigger, but takes mostly good shots. Meanwhile, Michigan State, Aaron Henry turn around. That one is no good. Spartans got off to a quick start. Young through some contact, got some space, and scored. Well, Jacob Young is a really good player and has turned into a, just a great defender, but he just went right into Fox. Well, back and forth they go. Two quick, fast breaks. Rutgers doesn't convert, though, so here comes Michigan State. Langford found Henry wide open for three. Just a beautiful pass by Josh. Michigan State had there. He played really well. Yeah, 20 in that one. Doesn't look like that kind of confident player. Henry over the top three. No good. Kithier knocked it out of bounds. Challenge two without fouling instead of giving them a three. And Michigan State has really stuck to the game plan to take away the three-point line from the Scarlet Knights. And what a great drive and pivot. And go into the ratchet up its defense. And one thing, when you're not playing well, make the other team play worse. Good theory so far in this first half. Henry tried to draw contact and uh, give the Rutgers defensive. This is the top ten in the Big Ten in scoring. Montez Mathis coming into this game. Henry blows right by for the finish. But Aaron Henry's just a different player over his and So good. You know, now Rutgers hasn't played its best, clearly. But... Michigan State has, has really stuck to the game plan defensively. Okay, he just took his time and took Hogarth. 
Michigan State is such a good jump shooting team. And that was a good shot. You don't want to, you don't, if you're Michigan State, you don't want to settle for jump shots, though. You want to make sure. All right, so some wild swings in college hoops around the country. Maybe enough time still for Rutgers against Michigan State and East Lansing. Ron Harper, tough shot off. On the part of Rutgers that it just takes the wind out of you. You know, they're, they're right within striking distance. They get a couple of shots to go and maybe the tenor of this game for Michigan State because listen they got talented scorers they just need someone to set the table for them consistently Henry strong off the fadeaway and Nebraska will look to push the other direction from three big shot Nebraska has really struggled from three good to see one go down if you're Fred Hoiberg yeah 41 percent on the year for McGowan's you and I were talking earlier he's an outstanding straight line drive against the Spartans you're not accustomed to seeing no question about it certainly you got to defend the pick and roll in basketball nowadays as a three pointer is no good and Nebraska looked to push the other other side gets one up and blocked by Michigan State Aaron Henry with another pretty layup in the open floor how about the job by the freshness of Sokol as they're trying to incorporate that's Kobe Webster knocking down his second three of the game. But again, Michigan State pushes, gets an early one, and Aaron Henry drills it. That's the part of his game that you feel like can really elevate this team is on the defensive end. He knocks down a three with great ball movement. Nice sequence by Henry. He gets him an extra possession line at home. Many of those on the front end. Hard to do that and beat good teams. As you see Aaron Henry with the step back. Boy, has he played well. He's into double figures with 11 for Michigan. I hope their team doctor is Ferdinand Pacheco over there. <laughs> Aaron Henry attacks and finishes. How about Henry going with the right hand there? Really good job. Get one up. He does. No good. Good in the open floor. And his ability to get to the rim has been augmented tonight because he's knocked down a couple of shots from the perimeter. Boy, Aaron Henry. Same play. Just a little elbow isolation. Big angle. Webster no good from three. And Michigan State will look to attack. Aaron Henry. Another three. Henry now with 20 points of his field goal attempts are threes. I think it would behoove him to go get some easy ones. That'll help his three-point jump. Henry and maybe get to the foul. Find a rhythm down all the way to the rim all night if you let him. If you're Michigan State, there's got to be help defenders in there when Allen starts attacking. And speaking of help defenders, you probably need some help when Aaron Henry's got the rock. He's got a new Yarn, a nice response. He got buried on the defensive end. He doesn't hang his head, cuts hard, and is rewarded. Uh, Michigan State pushing it. Sean, Nebraska's had a hard time getting organized. Interesting for steals as Langford attacks baseline. Kicks out. Uh, Henry attacks. No good. Well, offensive rebounds. Michigan State doing a much better defense. That's a credit to him. And now it's Michigan State's turn to have an answer as Aaron Henry probes into the lane. Shot over Kobe Webster. 25 points for Aaron Henry. Demands of him, and it's really a high level. Because yeah, there was a stretch earlier in the season where Tom Izzo said he's playing his best, ba best basketball in a Michigan State uniform, but trailed off a little the last couple, and he misses the shot. They're firing. They're two of eight from outside the arc now. Henry shot fake, got Mashburn up, trying to hammer it, but he got blocked by Robbins. Robbins, best shot blocker. Boy, Gabe Kelsher is really guarding Aaron Henry. He, he is making life super tough for Aaron Henry to get anything down to Henry. We've got just now two of 19 from the field in Big Ten play. He, he has really struggled in conference play on the offensive end of the floor. Another bond away to get to the foul line a little bit more this season. He's knocking it down at a high rate, but this is what he's really done for Minnesota. And another tough shot by Aaron Henry and another good defensive possession for the Gophers. 16% shooting this half. Henry contested again. Kelsher right there in his hip pocket. Boy, he is doing a heck of a job of getting an open look.
Aaron Henry just pulls up. Offensive rebound, Langford. Reverse, no. And finally cleared out by Sissoko. And their only loss again for Minnesota was at Illinois as Aaron Henry knocks down just his second. Henry. A contested shot, no good. Boy, again, Gabe Kalsher. There it is. Kalsher misses. Uh, I would have to think he's going to say this one is worse than the Northwestern showing. Well, this, this sequence has been uh, brutal. <laughs> yeah, it just looks. Inside, bounces down for Aaron Henry. Just who they are, just because you didn't have a lot of time. And a great turnover defense right here by Michigan State. And that was all started by Kithier. And then Kithier kept it alive there, and it went out of bounds. Or inside over a smaller Langford. As long as your health is in place, you can do the things necessary, they're always going to have an advantage. And you see the difference is Michigan State wants to speed it up a little bit, but Henry misses it. The ball. Um, as of yet, unleashed. Thought about going to the NBA, but withdrew his name in early August. And here he is just mm. inside the arc. Well, right on time. And sometimes even... He hasn't scored since. He still has seven. Aaron Henry. Contact counted. Blocking foul. Wisconsin, so both teams shooting for the final 139. Ball hands to Henry. He'll take that all day. He loves the mid-range. Well, a misdirection play that time underneath out of bounds. And you all can develop some kind of rhythm. Then your sight lines of seeing the ball go in can loosen you up and have you relax a little bit. Aaron Henry, we've seen him hit the mid-range. We've seen him hit outside and now taking it to the post. Corner. Maybe one dribble on that one, Brandon. Well, Michigan State still up four despite struggling in the turnover category. As Henry puts in two more in the paint. Well, uh, you're missing 23, 24 year olds. Four redshirt seniors, six seniors in the rotation. Ball bounces around, comes down to Trevor Anderson. What a luxury, though. Two Wisconsin inside of seven minutes. And the 149th all time meeting between these two. And that is blocked at the rim. Henry had it rejected. Team. Going to run the offense and be pesty on, you know, on the defensive end. Top of the arc, Henry. Hit it out. Look at Langford flying through. Tough place like you talked about for them, the Badgers, to win in the past. Haven't won here since 2004. Ball Langford. comes down. Yeah, again, he keeps it alive. He, yeah, jinxed him. Jinxed him. <laughs> Just five points. There's plenty of time. Aaron Henry, wild shot, rebound go to Lakeford, blocked by Reavers. Wow. Two, they had four in the first three minutes. That's right. Henry, hero step, missed it. Rebound Wisconsin and one more foul. Four. Another tap away, it's Aaron Henry again, his second steal already. And Henry with the right hand, nice scoop. What a great finish by Aaron Henry, the, the activity. Bigger lineup for Michigan State. Here's Aaron Henry on the drive. Everything but the finish ran into Nance. Good ball movement by the Spartans. Henry again trying to finish with that right hand. Boy, back to back plays where Aaron Henry has made just the largest lead of the game for Northwestern at eight points. A really good communication by Anthony Gaines. He's really talking out there. Navigated that switch and they contested the Aaron Henry jumper. Sparks. Oh, he went for the alley oop to Barron, not to be. And now we're going the other way for Michigan State. Aaron Henry with a Ooh. clear lane right to the rack. It just cannot happen if you're Boo Booey. You have got Pete Nance. Really good defense. And then pivots back the other way, uses his size, gets to the rim. And inside, Aaron Henry. Going to need a lot more of that for Michigan State moving forward. Young. That's all about understanding the scouting report. Ryan Young is getting back to that right hand. Julius Marble walls up, makes him score over the top. And another good defensive play by Marble. Henry trying to keep it alive. It's all Boo Booey tonight. 21 points for Booey. 
Swinging around. Aaron Henry launches from three. Four. With Western and Bobby Barron in particular has done a nice job on him tonight. Henry driving, hanging and hitting. That's the Aaron Henry that missed. Late in the game, you're up 14, there's four to play. You're trying to run clock and get great looks. And, and that you spank it off the side of the backboard. That, that just cannot happen at this stage of the game if you want to get screens. So Henry's going to get his steps in today if he's got his Fitbit on. Henry will take the triple try, and he'll knock it down. That's a great sign for Michigan State. Just one of 12 against Eastern Michigan on his own. And then some against Detroit, Notre Dame, and a little bit against Duke. So facing his own, but a 1-3-1 is a different load for them as Henry gets the finish. No, but you're exactly right. It helps the Michigan The lefty fires too strong. And on the push for Henry, gets the finger off. I mentioned a perfect three for three from the floor to start, make it four for four. And you see how he, he slows down and takes long. Inside the lane, and Rotz has checked back in, playing with the two personals. Kithier over to Henry. And a shot clock violation that time, as his shot didn't hit anything. Kit is playing man to man. Here's an open look for Watts. Again, saddled with that foul trouble, got to find a rhythm. The tip is not good for Hall. And Michigan State comes best in the country coming into this game in terms of total steals. They have three in this game, but it's not necessarily the three steals that they've gotten, but it's kind of looking over your shoulder, right? That yes. Michigan State is, is always knowing that they're there a little bit and just double team him, get the ball out of his hands. Well, especially because they came with a ball screen and he refused it, but anytime there's two defenders near Williams, I think you keep two at it. It's the second three point make for Aaron Henry. Crossover. Watts with a dump down. They find Henry again. Trying to go back to back. Henry getting his own miss. Can't finish. But it'll be Langford who does. Well, Michigan State's owning the glass. Time and not by a player by the name of Williams. That time it was Jalen Moore. But it was in Williams' range. And the answer, a quick shot there for Aaron Henry. Just feels like Michigan State's playing. Cleveland State. He came over and he actually missed the first 18 games last year because of the transfer and he didn't care He wanted to play half the season Langford skying high for the rebound Body bucket and one coach and what I like about that is that not that isn't just lip service a lot of coaches say Hey, my door is always open, but trust me. They don't want you to walk through that door and complain at all But coach Izzo is totally willing now you might not way see number zero Aaron Henry out there after coming off the bench because he was late to a film session and here is Henry. Weak side rebound, Hall. Here's Rocket Watts to initiate. Michigan State on a field goal drought. And Henry shoots him out of it. He hasn't shot the ball great. Off to the great 4-0 start. And number four, Jalen Hamilton way off the mark. And on the other end, a nice step through and the bounce for Henry. I love the aggression. Open three, Rocket Watts. Offensive rebound, Henry. Henry leaning in, no. Carried out of there by Jay. 12 points against Duke and then nine against Detroit after not really factoring in the first two games. But here it's Henry with the open look. And as, to your point, Robbie, the shots just hit to a three score lead. Aaron Henry takes the three short. And all in all for West Pass in the first half and then that last one. Henry off the heel and a rebound comes down to Greg Lee. Bingham when he took a three-pointer in the first half. Aaron Henry. And he knocks it down. So he hasn't hit a three-pointer, but he has hit a couple of things to get shots up to where the point where they said we, we got to take these baskets down. It's really not safe because we're trying to limit people being together. So just it's a part of this year. Everybody's got their own story, but.
Yeah, certainly, uh, look, they're doing it from a 4-0 start, and they're up five right now, so it's not like this is a huge issue, but just trying to think of areas that they can improve is this early part of the season. This game that you can really, honestly, disrespect him like that. He, he is way too good a shooter. And Henry, though, missing another one, and then Langford with the... Feel like finally Michigan State might be separating here on a 9-2 to run. A Euro step, and Aaron Henry somehow got that to drop. Boy, it didn't look like a team and a guy that can really score the ball. Well, they're going to need him and be artist white. Without those top two scorers that they lost from last year due to transfer, Michael Flowers went to South Bell College level. Coming to set the screen here, a top 50 recruit. Fading away, Aaron Henry, pretty shot. He has a dozen tonight. That is bull cool, almost. Brown, alley oh, tapped away at the very last moment. Heads up play by Matt Johnson. Michigan State early on here with seven minutes left is way too many. It's not a team that turns the ball over very often either. Here's a corner three by Henry. Chance to tie or take the lead for by Antoine Davis. You can see just how dynamic he can be on that offensive end. Henry goes right at him on the other side and finishes with the right hand. In the team with 12 points a game, and well, he's only got one so far. Henry had it blocked away. What a great play again on the defensive end by Matt Johnson. So fun to watch between two of the better players in the country. When you get to conference play, you know Aaron Henry's going to be locked in on whoever the top scorer is for that other team, too. And now he's got to deal with Antoine. Here comes Aaron Henry on the drive. Tip in, no. Last opportunity for Detroit, Davis. And the defensive end, too. And what has been a great calling card the first three games for Michigan State, how they end the halves. They didn't end the half very strong tonight. Really, really good offense. Such a great three-point shooting team a year ago. Leading baseline. baseline. Aaron Henry driving right hand. Yes! Henry hasn't been the option on offense. And you just, it's one versus one, and Davis has won the battle last couple of times. Good move by Henry. Gets his own rebound. Detroit thought that Henry pushed off a couple of different times. You great offense here. Get a good shot. Don't force anything. And it goes to Henry. Now he makes a play. Henry with the right hand. No. Marble trying to keep it alive. Very, very versatile and a number of very good handlers. As Rocket Watts is taken over as the point guard and a blocked shot by Jalen Johnson, who had an amazing. Once just had it taken right out of their hands. You have to be strong with the ball in this arena, whether they're fans or not. Strong drive to the bucket by Aaron Henry, but then he missed at the rim. 25 with the foul difficulties. They're in. Michigan State one for six from the floor with three turnovers and five fouls and now they're one out of seven. I think a couple times we've had some dubious ones. Wendell Moore bounced it off his foot and turned it over. That led to an easy bucket. Just the second field goal in the first six minutes of this game for Michigan State. That one from Aaron Henry, preseason all Big Ten, the junior. who thought about the uh, NBA. As a matter of fact, he talked to 22 different NBA teams and Got the vibe that he should come back to Michigan State. A tougher in the last three, four possessions. And Aaron Henry, that was a tough move. Instead of settling for a jump shot, he put the ball on the floor and finished through some contact. That big void to fill. They combined for about 13 rebounds per game as well. And obviously a lot of assist loss when Winston moved on after a brilliant departure of Winston and Tillman, certainly they think Henry, who's gotten stronger, his ball handling is better, according to Coach Izzo. He'd give more points. They go into the lane, and Marble, a nice move. Sophomore out of Dallas, Jesuit, Dallas, Texas.
has four off the Michigan State bench. Well, that was a good reversal. They tried to get the ball to Gabe Brown. A little pat throwback. Travel. Gabe Brown. That is eight turnovers now. Committed by Michigan State. And Tom Izzo said at his media briefing. Fits you and your lifestyle. Our home equity line of credit allows you to borrow money for virtually any purpose. And our youth savings account helps teach your children the importance of savings. Our products and services are designed to meet all of your banks. Because he, he didn't guard particularly well. He is guarding tough against Wendell Moore down there in the post. Not blessed with great size. They list him at 6 feet 170. One of their three team captains as chosen by. Jalen Johnson, who's really cooled off after a quick start. It's really true of the entire Duke team. In transition, Henry's floater wouldn't go. Kept alive, though, by Malid with 11 and a half minutes to go. Tom Izzo brought Rocket Watts back into the ball game. They need to get a quick shot. Blue Devil ever with a stat line of 19 plus points and rebounds with five or more assists and four more block shots. That's not in a de debut, that's in any game ever. And he did it in his first game. The players have also provided a lot of leadership from within. Henry, back on the floor, had it pop out. Oh boy, Goldwire just threw it right back to Henry. Great anticipation. Henry looks to attack. Goes right at Hurt, who held his ground. His teammates have not. Yeah, Wisconsin's another really experienced team. That's just excellent. I mean, they're going to count that bucket for Aaron. Full artist. And a very patient woman. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and a saint. Her and hearing impairment. <laughs> her hearing impairment has really helped our relationship. <laughs> Michigan State going with its same starting lineup that it did against Eastern Michigan on that Wednesday. We were told that Aaron Henry would get some early touches, and he takes the first shot for Michigan defender. Well, that was nice recognition by Notre Dame that time. Dean Lashesky down in the post. Henry gets the look. Aaron Henry only shot three times. In that Hauser, who has Michigan State's first four points, again the kick out to Henry. For Aaron Henry, already more active than he was on Wednesday. And Michigan stay right up the road. That, they should be uh, partners in trying to make it happen. You are not joking when you're talking about tough schedule for Notre Dame. As Henry gets another look, he's got seven of the first. Princess Hall. The stats that we were looking at, again, we were talking about Hauser picking up the two. They've now given that away from Hauser, and they've given it to Kithier, which was, was the right call. And in 17, and the backdoor look for Jogo. That's what I'm talking about. That spacing and the cutting ability of Notre Dame is so impressive. A quick look. The fighting Irish looking to run. They're not given any sort of daylight to lawyer here tonight. After a career high night, six threes, 20 points against Eastern Michigan. Henry gets a look at it. And Hauser chases it down. He knew, where the, he knew where the game was on. A huge win for Michigan State, 29 to 20 over Northwestern, who was unbeaten at 5 and 0 going into that game. By the way, the look off to Hauser finds Henry. A lefty stroke is pure that time. His first three-point make of the game. And see, that's not easy, he, but he's got a little work to do to get in that category. Izzo always likes to set that standard, too, what Mo Pete was able to do as the sixth player of the year, and the runner falls there for Aaron Henry. He just took his time on that position. This is Soko's getting in at this point juncture, but he's going to have to do a little bit more consistently to get some minutes away from Kipier. A lawyer in the corner. Kipier down low. Henry slicing through the lane in the first two points of the year for Michigan State. Go to Aaron Henry. Oh, he's so... Tino run seemed to deflate them a bit. And they sprinkle in a little three-quarter court defense right here. But Henry just slices it in half. 
Four points now for Henry. He's playing together. Right. Here's Hauser. Now in the corner to Henry. Does not go, but the offensive rebound to Lankford. What? Malik Hall with the hook. That dies. Yeah, Malik Hall is, is an interesting prospect in my bucket. Bingham has to back it out. Huff skipped to Hall in the corner. That three rolls home. Michigan State has hit two straight. You know, his activity has really aided the Spartans in terms of interior defense. Brown. Oh, baseline two-hand jam. This looks like it's banker no for Smith. Big Ten basketball, let him play on. Oh, the look, Malik Hall, book it, a three. This kid can shoot it. He can step back. Step back, Jay. Doesn't go. Watts taps it over to Henry. This is where Henry is tough in the early. Hauser straight away. He's got it. Joey Hauser from downtown. And a 2-3. We are under a minute to play with Michigan State leading by two. Tend to shoot. Langford. Oh, yes! A three! <laughs> He's going to put pressure on you in the running game. Turnovers. Steal by Aaron Henry. Now Watts will try and go to the rim. And he'll shoot. As he has a chance for an old-fashioned. And he was in the mid-40s, but now he's down to 38% from deep, is Hunter. Brown will try it. And you mentioned that he has been playing better and better, and it is showing here late in the Every game for Rob Finnessy. He is a talented guy, and I know Indiana fans are sick of hearing that because he's had his nights where he has really struggled. But right now here, he has brought it tonight, and he's been tournament. No one would deserve a final shot at that than Joshua Langford. He totally deserves it. I think that's why when you see how well he's played in some of these games, as he knocks down the jumper right on cue, he totally is deserving of all of them. And then Henry comes up with it. Great defense by Aaron Henry. Just staying in the play and staying in the ball. And then in rhythm, Gabe Brown knocking down the triple. And Michigan State is back in front. Level play for the Spartans. Eight points, the four rebounds. And now Michigan State with a chance to add to their lead. It's Brown again. Yes! Gabe Brown starting to heat up. Oh, good. Hauser with the rebound. Leads the team in rebounding for the season. Way outside, Joey Hauser drills a three. And when they shoot threes, that's the way they... Hogard, Langford, Henry, team of three. Right down the middle it goes. Langford knocks one in, his first triple this halfway. They just miss Langford at the free throw. I know it, you're right. Wow. You know, Kevin, for all that we're talking about, Gabe Brown. Hauser picked up by Smith. Back outside it goes. Henry. Three. Bullseye! Hauser hits a big time three. For the Interested parties in the Big Ten tonight with Michigan State climbing once again. Joe Lunardi talking to him earlier today. He said three wins, maybe four down the stretch, and Michigan State's a tournament team. Today, Spectrum Mobile. It's a better way to mobile. Let's fly. This is not just another streaming app. Noise! This is gripping headlines, gripping drama, and Vulcan death grips. Amazing, the transformation of Michigan State, even since halftime of the Indiana game on Saturday. They're a totally different bunch after dousing Illinois on Tuesday, and now our ninth man, this game, has had teeth all night long. Henry on the move off the catch. Splashes it down. Oh! <laughs> it wasn't this year. This conference man is a, a monster. Langford around the bone crushing there screen from Kithier, and he's got two on the board. He's got a couple of mistakes to make up when get foul call. <laughs> Just what you don't want. Lots out. It goes to Henry in the corner. Langford with the three, and Langford with five in the first bounce starts it up in the corner. Henry. Skip past to Langford, and Langford's pull up will drop. Let me tell you what what made that possession for Michigan State. You know, they just had had a hard time of getting themselves going, and you got to credit Michigan State for that.
Off the ball fake. Marbles jumper is good. Big difference in this game. Michigan State shooting well. Oh, five to go in this one. Michigan State looking for a big win to start this final kick. Hauser, what a three! Joey Hauser, a gigantic. That's really nice curl action. That's more. Indiana needs more of that because Durham understands how to play out of that. Brown shot fake. Indiana officials are human. Yeah. They don't want to see big crazy going nuts on them. Henry, spin, window, no, but a foul call. It's Williams, and they let him go. Well, he and Edie have, what, 16 of their 20 together? Hauser from the corner. Three is good. Yeah, that was a slow closeout by Gillis. Henry for the Spartans after those two free throws. Lankford, two, knocks it down. Dave, this is the action I told you about. The rebounds were big for Michigan State. That's their eighth of the game already. Lankford from the corner, three, good. And Lankford sprinted to that championship level. He, he Statistically, they were actually number one at, at some point this year, but he really thinks that because how they can score from different spots, they have a chance to be special. Nice action. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, Kithier from Brown. The other way, Lawyer in transition. Henry, hard drive on the baseline. Oh, nice look inside and an easy jam for Bingham. Kind of familiar against Iowa at uh, Henry. Iowa at uh, Henry. Inside, nice slip. Kid the left hand off the window softly. And both ends, two counters to some plate. Hauser a little shot fake and then a floater is good. So Joey Hauser coming off the bench. I mean, now you gotta understand about Michigan, they're not practicing. Right? They're not, you know, oh nice pass. Get to your finishes. That was a good pass. We had a kid in Indiana, buddy else got it. And next thing you know, you're up six with the ball. It was tied as he made that play. It was 41-41. There he goes again, right into the chest of John Hara. Oh, nice job by AJ. There was nowhere for him to go, and he pulled it back out. No, oh, there's way, there's a lane there for him to go that time for the lay-in. Yeah, that's that's a really good decision. And then you know, slight fade on the release. And then he rips it away with that long wingspan. Here's the push for Michigan State, and Brown with a silky smooth finish. Nebraska forced to call the timeout and a. Oh, for their last six. Here's the drive and dish and kick out and Ox knocks it down. Yeah, Aaron Henry just you know. Well, Michigan State very fortunate that that would have been a critical turnover. Here's Langford, who's been the go-to guy. He and Henry, and now both of them have speed. yourself to fatigue and then pushing past that. Langford with the floater this time. He's cut almost every shot in his arsenal here tonight. He's got 18. He's done a good job in the second chance points category. Three. Langford hits. What a big bucket for Michigan State. And Wieskamp had a lot of transition threes against Illinois on Friday night. Five of them. And they're getting out and running and hunting one down. Good answer by Joey Hauser in the corner. His second three to get offense. Sometimes you just get him the ball and get out of the way. 50th career game, 20 or more for Luca Garza. Julius Marble going right at Garza with the hook. And came out and really delivered the first blow. But can they seal the deal on the road? Oh, what's crossover by Henry to fuck Kithier underneath? Breaking ankles on his way to the assist and the lob ahead. Eight on the shot clock. Lawyer looking, needs a little help. Baseline jumper from Marble, and that rolls home. Marble with eight points. Good in the low box area, able to step out. Difficult to guard. Adele still on nice the pass. Pass. What a pass. Back door at Langford. A terrific vision to put Michigan State classified in some opportunities. And graduated Garfield Heights High School in Cleveland early, enrolled in December.
That's and he's it. been a nice little division. Big shot for the Spartan. Yeah, they got that edge, I think, right now. As you can see, he's trying to capture a little double on the other side. Nice pass, and you can just see Liddell looking sniffing. Right there. That's the kind of effort that Michigan State needs to start chipping away at this lead. Hogarth back in the game, and the freshman provides a little bit of a spark with a bucket in the lane. Michigan State, they allowed Northwestern to shoot 53% in that loss on Sunday. Inside, there's a good start. Nice reverse for Thomas Kithier. Well, you like that too because it was a the game here at East Lansing. Foster Lawyer from the elbow. Beautiful shot that time. Go jab step inside. And sometimes, you know, we talk in that one. He patiently took his time, knew he had the baseline turnaround available. Beautiful. That is great. Aaron Henry dropping a dime. Well, that time the decision was there because he drew the four positions. I think just looking for more consistency on the offensive end of the floor, but a real talent. Drive a shot, a three-point opportunity. That was Gabe Brown knifing through the paint. There's Malik Hall. And Malik Hall buries the three, one-point game. On the ball. And he can lock and load in a hurry. So Michigan State's got to be ready to fight over screens and be there on the catch. And here's Lankford who tries to even the score, and he does. So a couple of three-point buckets. How about that for goal setting? The tip there for Aaron Henry, a good defensive stop. They get it out to Walks for the easy two that time. Aaron Henry's got so much elite defensive potential. If you get in a bind. But right now, Tom Izzo going with switching like screens but that puts communication at a premium deep triple try make there for joey hauser whether it's in person or via zoom michigan state four perimeter players touching that and gabe brown finishing it off from the corner well even the, the big ten's plan to play on christmas day you know obviously it's it's unfortunate you can't go home for the holidays, but you try to make it fun for the guys and playing on Christmas Day. Need much room, gets it off and knocks it down. Hauser trying to equal it on the other end, and he does nothing but nylon. That's a great sight to be did not start the first half because he was late to a film session. Here he is with a basketball. Nice pass inside. And so some good production there. Henry to Kithier. Just a great action. Rafael Cruz just picked up his third foul, so he goes to the bench for Western Michigan. Open look. Hauser. Yes. I know Joey Hauser hasn't shot a great percentage, but I want to convert. 
Henry, eight points tonight, three of nine from the floor. He does have four rebounds and three assists. Hauser winds it up and knocks another one down. He's hit four triples. He Michigan State finally imposing its will here a little bit as Henry up top. Hauser from five feet behind the arc. Everything is dropping. Putting up those 75 points in that win at Duke. Tom Izzo telling us, hey, listen, it's not like we played better than them. They didn't play worse than us. We just outlasted them. Already on cue, a triple by Brown. To Lawyer, wide open from the wing. The second opportunity inside. What vision from Aaron Henry. Vision from Aaron Henry. Pinned by Bingham. Two blocks in the second half for Bingham. Good look for Hauser. Hauser's feeling it. Great transition. Oh, good, good move. Davis has 18. And he's yet to hit a three. Inside. Marble punishes the rim. Foul didn't get the call. Under three to play, and he's Lansing. Slicing, dicing. Brown from the corner. Gabe Brown has been the answer tonight for the Spartans. Twice. Five to shoot. To the corner. Brown puts the icing on for Michigan State. Once again, he has seven. And Michigan State is within three. Which is hard to believe. They're still shooting under 35%. 50% from the at the half. Let's send you back to the studio. Here's Reese Davis. End of the court to the other is anybody he's been around. And now another Duke turnover and numbers on the break for the Spartans. And once again, and Michigan State is pulling away. On Hall, who held his ground well though and made it a contested shot. Hauser wide open for three. What a nice pass. Tell everybody, hey, get up. We want to make it tougher for Michigan State not only to inbound it, but get it up the floor. Henry off to Marble for the dunk. What a night for Julius Marble. Ryan is really active, looking for his shot here early. The take there for Watts. Maybe that'll get him going early. Boy, that's a tough look, Lisa. State 29 to 20 over Northwestern, who was unbeaten at 5 and 0 going into that game. And closing it out there and step back. Langford looked. He may let you know what he means and his ability to stand up and, and lead by example a lot of times. Combo guard. He's got 10 points in his debut, and Watts kind of showing off. Three ball doesn't go from Bryce McBride, who is a junior college transfer. And Hauser on the other end gets his first two as a Spartan. And that's what Michigan State does. They Lawyer. Now Kithier over to Henry. Lawyer hits the three. Foster Lawyer, a very capable field goal percentage defense, seven of the last nine years. Their identity very much tied up in this zone as Malik Hall spins and hits. First two for the sophomore from a return and square to Bingham as the defense collapses against the high post. He's got to get it in there. Kithier trying to work that high post area, but instead it is Lawyer who hits again. Foster Lawyer. He, he looks so much better, Dave, than what I thought he would coming into this. Better, Dave, than what I thought he would coming into this game. Here's Kithier. First two for the junior. So now four fouls on him. In transition, it's Henry. Nice dish to Hauser. And he'll go to the line. Outstanding NBA careers. And, and I think the le lesson is there, right? That, hey, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there as Marble throws down the dunk. It is about getting there. Recapture some of the magic from non-conference play when he hit five of seven against St. Peter's and the ball taken away from Henry. Ayala on the push, end to end, inside. And right through the fingertips of Kithier just slipped away turnover for Michigan State I'm not sure if you're Aaron Henry you want to they haven't made a field goal since the 540 mark in this first half 
And that's going to be an offensive foul on Henry. That's his first, and the turnover will give Merrill pick his pocket. The ball comes loose to Henry. Good play by Langford. Henry, cross-court pass deflected away. That's the length of Hakeem Hart that got in there to six points on five attempts in this ballgame. Here he goes to work. Had Morcel off balance a little bit, collides inside, and an offensive foul is called on Henry. That is his second. Sell his first three and his first field goal of the ball game. No, I think he took uh, personal that Michigan State was playing off of him. Wiggins, the no one to Morcel. Want to check the gaps. Here's Henry at the elbow. He's just going to try and muscle his way down the lane. Wagner strips it out of his hands, and it's off of Aaron Henry's. Henry lost it. Taken away by Livers. Close one ahead to Brooks. Goaltending. Scoop the rebound to Bingham again. Bingham Here comes Henry with size. the lob and hit the rim as Brown went airborne. And he got caught under the basket as the lob pass. Play here to play there changes the whole complexion of the game. Oh, that Jump pass. The passing lane was pass. Isaiah Livers. Fights his way for a steal. It's caught. Henry throws it away. Trying to get it inside to Kithier. Fake misses it. Long rebound. Langford. And Henry walked. Eight turnovers now for Michigan for Al Durham. What was last night? What was the Academy Awards last night? There was some award oh, show. Globes or, or whatever it was. <laughs> that foul, by the way, was on Al Durham. Doesn't shoot many three throws, so you got to run him off the three-point line. Jumping in the paint is Henry. That's a travel. And another turnover for Michigan State. Rebound, save, Rocket Watts. Out to Henry. He has grown very cold, and there is a turnover. His second today. And the interesting thing about on repeat tonight. And you saw the difference in body control between Washington and Watts in two possessions there. We impaired audio description on their phone, so nobody misses a thing. Let's fly. This is not just another streaming app. Noise! This is gripping headlines, gripping drama, and Vulcan death grips. Aaron's on the run. He doesn't know what to do inside the paint. Oh, He's he, taken three you, you twos knew, all year. You knew he was not shooting that when the Michigan State defense got back. This man shot 97. We all live it together through our screens tonight as Hauser catches and drops it in. Michigan State got the switch on that possession. Going small, that means they have multiple ball handlers. Don't just need one guy to start their offense every time down the floor. And turnover on the way to the hoop from Aaron Henry. And this ball game is going to come to an end. And a Spartan surprise in East Lansing tonight as Dosumu gets the steal. Runs that one up and in. Count the bucket for Dosumu. Oh, offensive rebounding like this. This is un no. like It is. Henry turned his head, lost sight of the ball. Franklin came up with it. Oh, Off the spin. He has started on the offense. He's been a great defensive player all year. Ivy had his shot just absolutely rejected. Henry in the open court. I thought he traveled. Yeah, he did. He did. Again, Purdue does a better job than most teams you'll... I don't know if Anthony Davis can defend that. I'm telling you. This. Oops. And Williams forced to travel. Play fast. If you have the shot, take it. He's going to get on you. A lot more fiery than his demeanor and look will tell you. And here comes Iowa in transition. And Penn State tried to go fast. Couldn't get the shot to go. Here comes Michigan State. Lead pass was not a very good one. based on toughness. Iowa has never based their program on real toughness. Never. Consequently, they don't win the lead. Jump ball. Henry exposed the ball. Not bad. <laughs> Just a... 
Aaron Henry trying to find Hall, and Penn State knocked it away. Here come the Nittany Lions. Jones out of the open court. Jones got but he averaged 30-plus a game in high school, so he's always got that, you know, he wants to set guys up, but he, he's looking to score as well. Turnover on that possession for Michigan State. See what put on post. That's on Michigan State turning them over. And trying to find Hauser, and it's a turnover for a turnover. It's number nine now for Michigan State in this first half. The Allen still scoreless, 0 for 4. He shot just four times. He's their leading scorer, the fifth best scorer in the Big Ten, and averages about 18. And there he is on the push. Which is Carson turns off big on the reverse, rebounded by Hauser. Henry traveled with it. Turnover number two for the Spartans. Soko on the floor, working against Luca Garza. There's a turnover, intercepted by Wieskamp. Wieskamp two on one. He'll take it himself, and Iowa with it too. Five to shoot. Henry going to have to hurry. Two on the shot clock, driving into Garza, lost the ball, and that's out of bounds. To Iowa shot clock violation as well. Either way, it's Hawkeye basketball. See, I think that's a perfect possession. We suing from deep. Off the back of the rim, and the rebound corralled by Kiffier. Barnes looking Good for some hands. early offense. Henry the turnover. How about that? on the year from downtown. Henry has his pocket picked. Three talented Michigan State teams, and they asked him basically to be a role player, defensive player, even as a young guy. But his role is different this year. Young behind the back with the... But Michigan State putting Miles Johnson in a ton of ball screens just to move him all over the floor. And they're going to try to wear him out. Young with does they have a pretty, seven. They'd have a pretty solid lead here right here if they'd be knocking free throws down. I mean, it, it's starting to become not just a problem, but a huge problem. Another Michigan State turnover. Rutgers finish. Good win for Carolina. They needed it. Good win for Clemson tonight in the ACC. Clemson's a good team. That short shot doesn't go. Rutgers having just an awful time. Division three transfer, and we've now seen what he's doing in the NBA. Yeah, he's cashing some nice checks. Yes, he is. As Michigan State turns it over and McGowan's will look to push the other direction. Henry, the drive, loses it, and Nebraska will look to push the other direction. Wow. What a shot from Teddy Allen. Travel from Aaron Henry. Michigan State. Some interesting shot selections on both ends. There's been some bad shot selection on both ends. This looks like Minnesota, the way they played against Illinois. Just almost playing a little bit like that basketball is on fire. Jordan. Minnesota hits 17 threes against Iowa. They're two of seven so far. They get the ball right back. A little behind the back. Booth Gotch, nice feed to Trey Ford, who turned 23 on Tuesday. A little happy belated birthday. He's got the last five. And out of bounds. So it was Wisconsin with the early turnovers, and now Michigan State has committed the last couple miscues. Well, Coach used his right shoulder. 
to keep Henry off and then able to lay it up with his left hand. And here's a steal by Trice. He's got Davis if he wants him. Davis says, I'll take it anyway. Offensive end. Potter, leader in points and rebounds. Last year was the sixth man, but now he's doing it all this season and another bad pass. Corner concepts are in place already. Michigan State, they've got a few veterans out there as well, but certainly younger across the board. Bad pass there by Henry. Well, you know, that's the challenge when you have the Dukes to normal pieces to their ultimate, ultimate success. He's got 13. Pass through the hands of Malik Hall. They got to shoot that. And that one, Hall was thinking the ball was going up. Could have an advantage right here for Michigan State. A little five on four. There it is. Henry, offensive foul. And look who took it. Brad Davison. Two point lead for Northwestern. Henry got it knocked away. Long arms of Adij. Great high hands. You don't see enough guys do that. Williams and Jalen Moore, the two juniors that I mentioned. And Lisa, this is this zone, this zone is disruptive. They, they can be a little vulnerable in the glass, but 16th nationally in steals, they were important to this team, not only knocking down shots, but as a leader too. Henry kind of was in the right spot at the right time, but again, they rip it away. They average about 10 steals per game, Oakland does. And not a very big team. Coming into today, points, assists, and steals, not to mention their everyday leader as well. Off the dribble, here goes Henry, and he walked with it. It's a good job by Jalen Moore to slide his feet. Kind of feels like. So much of basketball is about confidence, rhythm, and comfort, and that gets disjointed when you change programs and transfer. Four-point edge. More thought about it. Couldn't really decide. He's a tough shot maker. He can hit those contested threes off the bounce. But any double team, or any chance I get to double him, I'm doing it. It's like a video game or a machine. There's a one-hand appointment of that game not playing for. You know they had been circling that date, circling that game, talking some trash to each other, and to not get to be able to do it is obviously really frustrating. But maybe they'll find a date for them. It certainly is different winning at Cameron, just like it's different winning at the Breslin Center or at Mackey or Assembly Hall. But this is the reality we have. And like coaches have said, they all go down in the record books just the same. One of the great scorers in the country, not just in the Horizon League or any other league. And we'll get an offensive foul. Henry got out of control that time. <laughs> and taking the time. Makes nearly four threes a game. And he's yet to hit one tonight. He's 0 for 8. Henry ran into Detroit's defense. Nice wall that time by Frazier. Great defense. Well, Michigan State trying to isolate Aaron Henry down in the low post. They did it, but Johnson came over from the weak side to take that away. What a beautiful block by Johnson. And a steal by Wendell Moore. He powered. Like they're having guys that shouldn't be shooting take those shots. We are one for 14 from three. Last year in their win in East Lansing, they were seven for 15. Eight final fours for Michigan State, the most, the most in the country. Remarkable. Just remarkable. Oh, hurt. Banks went in. This one isn't over yet. It's a six-point game. And, and a walk. travel call. He went strong to the hole in his first opportunity. Now he slides out to the three-point land. Very impressive. Notre Dame has hit four of those here tonight. With Leshevsky and Ryan, we've seen them the ones that have gone in. Yeah, and, you know, he's gotten a lot of them here recently as the game has kind of gotten away from Notre Dame. And an offensive foul call on, on Aaron Henry. You know, I thought it was interesting with Aaron Henry. Was... Montero not there. And Henry stepped out of bounds. As he looks to get to 20 and 6 in season openers in his career. And that one is turned over by Henry on the travel. I'm surprised more teams, even at the Big Ten level, don't to play next on the Big Ten Network. Yeah, that's a, that's a little important piece there. Good find inside. Galen Smith contested and rejected by... Yeah, Euro stuff did not work right there. And Henry, <laughs> defense did a great job getting back in transition. Wagner's coming off a poor game. Livers off a poor game. Dickinson will be out in this game if they're going to get a W here. They're going to compete. They're going to play hard. Hey! Livers attacks. In by two in a game that both of these teams need. Lander partially blocked. Good defense by Henry. Home of entertainment. All right.
This is our future, people. This is Paramount Plus. Street. Hey, Ohio State has pushed him out and credit Julius Marble for making something out of that broken possession. Of entertainment. All right. Yeah. Oh. This is our future, people. This is Paramount Plus. Streaming. Maybe I'll be a lot of credit. Saying, yeah, will I get credit? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the sumo inside as that one poked free. The lead, ED double team came. Langford couldn't quite rip it away. Ivy in the lane. Ede. People off of him. You let Aaron Henry in the lane, you got a problem. He's got 15. Sessoms on the move. Henry rejected what Nebraska's trying to do. Banton's got Foster Lawyer guarding him. They tried to run Banton into the post. Michigan State sniffed it out. One defender. He takes pride on this end of the floor. He's defending one of the better scores in the Big Ten. In the same conversation with one of the all-time greats. Good out-of-bounds play to a cutting wheeze camp. Rutgers has it. Theo. Geo, rather, to McConnell. Has it blocked. Off the top is who's going to go get them a bucket? They haven't scored a field goal in seven and a half minutes. Where's your yeah? Where's your go-to guy? It's it's not Henry tonight. There's a rejection by him. Defender, but he just went right into Foster Lawyer, knocked him back, and was able to get that little left-handed shot in. Oh. Well, back and forth in in West Lafayette, in the dome in Indianapolis, a comfortable setting I think for Big Ten teams. A good shot. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I think most teams in Michigan State will be one of them, I believe. They're going to shorten their bench and their rotation as they go forward. What Langford's done, but you know, I think A.J. Hogarth's got something to do with, with the way Michigan State's playing in this one. Yeah, he, he's... But... Teddy Allen will work in the post, see if a double comes. Dead Jeremy Gowns attacks in a big block from... This matchup right here is going to be really interesting. Rashad Williams, you'll see that all day. He said he is never. See you back yep. in the Big Ten Championship game next year. How about that for goal setting? And a tip there for Aaron Henry. And Tom Izzo knocked on wood when he said that. And a block out of bounds, Aaron Henry. And even after putting up 20 points, Tom Izzo told him, hey, listen, I feel like you could do a little bit more. He held the ball a little bit too much. And it comes down to dribbling too much. Anytime you pound. Highlighted by four top 15 teams. Number 11, West Virginia. Number one, Gonzaga. So impressive to start. Good hands by Henry. Poked it free from Hurt. What a great defensive. Only shot three times in that game against Eastern Michigan. That's why Tom Izzo said we got to make it a priority to feed him. That time Henry gets the block. Michigan State would be happy with that. So Henry and Hauser have combined for eight of the first 13 shots here for Michigan State. Again, Henry Gluck, the fighting Irish, looking to run with it a little bit. Nicola Jogo, one of the players off the bench, is going to get more. Good call. Under a minute now to play. Here's Hub. Going at Henry. It sure did last year. Gross was their best player a season ago. That one swatted away by him. For the Buckeyes and another Michigan State turnover. And ahead, Andre Wesson. Both maintain contact even when your offense isn't quite clicking. Caleb Wesson gives it up underneath the Liddell. He had stripped, but he did he foul it. Shot clock at seven. The sumo is scoop headed block.
to Penn State after having a big lead in that game. They let that one get away from them. The step back for Eric Ayala and the rebound. So close, he almost blocked the shot, but did not foul. Extra pass finds Wiggins. Steps back into the corner. His three off the side of the it's home area. Tony Dick, Jack. Smith picked up by Watts. Whips it to the side. Jumper. When you play Michigan State, it's really key how you're going to trail those rubs on the baseline. Wagner lines it up. 17-16. Oh. Michigan State. That breaks a four and a half minute scoring drought. Jackson the feed to the corner. Kids watching. You got to be able to deliver that punch with either hand. Smith, six seconds. Corner. Wagner. Everything but. Bank shot doesn't go for Malik Hall. Michigan pushing early with the jumper. Trapped him. Absolutely. I'd go for two here, too. Go attack the rim. You might get a three out of it. Smith delivers. Howard Isley, well, I think would be a great candidate for that BC job where your alma mater is looking for a coach, and he was a great player there. We're in the game in terms of teaching, coaching, being around young people. I thought that was a bad matchup in going to the NBA. I don't mean that. that it is oh, yeah. you know, he used to play Raymar Morgan at the three. <laughs> yeah. Well, he calls about that size. It's like, did you ever imagine this? <laughs> Shut Jackson Davis, keeping it alive. What an effort by Gay Brown, who is playing really, really good basketball right now. Long three, short again, roll, and the nice skip pass over the top. Joshua Langford locked and loaded. And late. So now where is Indiana going to start to figure things out? Is it going to be the freshman lander? No, and there is... He got his own miss. Maryland really is, does a good job getting out and going after they get a turnover. Another three. This one is right down the hatch. Hakeem Hope. Forcing the defense inside and then kicking it out to one of their best three-point shooters. There's a two, making a three by Wiggins. No, and they're happening. It's like nobody's happy right now. Chris Holman doesn't like their transition defense. Tom Izzo's not going to like their physicality on their posty. When you take a bad one like that, a lot of times it leads to a bucket. And how many times are we going to see Dwayne Washington get to his left hand for a layup? I mean, that's been like... Looking for the screen for Bishanish Billy. Nine on the shot clock. Frazier launching the contested three, but it falls. That's what he... Frazier's step back three rims out. Williams, the offensive board. Frazier will attack. Here's Dosumu for three. That's off. Long or down a little bit in for the first time. Newman pull up three. No good. Left shoulder. Another missed look for the Spartans. Here comes Purdue. Newman pass fake. Shoots another three. Stefanovic no look to Williams who didn't want to shoot it. He gave it back. Neither did Stefanovic. There he goes. Finally. Thanks for this entire offense. Yeah, this game has picked up considerably, hasn't it? Purdue still not making shots from the outside. The three-point line has been good to Michigan State. Going to blow past that first meeting. Kithier cut to the basket, and Ivy just rejected him. What a play. Huh? A little bit longer to assume that leadership role and get comfortable right now. Aaron Henry is rolling for, for Sparty. Jump shot off the mark. Tom Izzo needs him to hit a few. He's struggling with a shot right now. Guys. Meanwhile, Garza with it. 20 to shoot. Deep in the corner. Murray, and it's pure. Picked up. Here come the Hawkeyes again. With three seconds to go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe somebody else argued for Penn State in there, but Penn State's played a lot better of late. I mean, it's amazing how this Big Ten has changed. The he is okay. Hopefully that's the case. That three from Jones. No good. Well, Hera didn't touch it down low. 
Maybe Miles Dredd can get it in. Hera trying to repost. Shot clock winding down. <laughs> State guard. Rockington elevates. No. So after the ball, six seconds. Wheeler the lead pass. Penn State's got a chance. Dredd for the win. Heaves it up. The tip. More conversation between the two of them than since maybe Mateen Cleaves and Tom Bizzo. Into the corner for Stevenson for three. That time, kind of a spin pirouette move for two. That's what good teams do when you get close. They hit you with a little. Four double doubles here for the year for Joey Hauser. Tom ticking away here in this one. May in for three. Well, he said to Tom Izzo midseason, I'm just not comfortable with that point guard spot. I'd much rather be the two guard. He is more comfortable out there as McCaffrey has an open look from three. Bohannon in the corner to Wee's camp and that three dropped. And Michigan State's taking a lot of threes, but they're good clean looks. Bohannon, that's a deep three. And that air ball will give it back. Western his first shot. First three pointer for Hauser. You see what he's done now with seven points. A couple years ago, good footwork. You know that game winner to beat the Pirates in the highlight of his freshman season last year. Yeah, they're very efficient on the offensive end. Little yo-yo, two bigs. Arms. So, shot clock down to six. Washington has to hurry. That's a deep three. We saw Sissoko, he was the one who created the issue prior to Subaru and knocked him out full today, so maybe you're not as nervous come Selection Sunday. Ball knocked free underneath, and the stoppage, that'll be a health. He's played good minutes today, Stephen, 17 minutes for the youngster. Yeah, and he's, he's taken the opportunities that have been presented to him. Wiggins Ooh. starting to heat up. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Oh, nice ball fake by Ayala. Not only did he ball caught the basketball, he saw headlights, Kevin. That's an opposing team's shoulder. Saw multiple defenders. Pull. Be out in this game if they're going to get a W here. They're going to compete. They're going to play hard. Livers attacks. Yeah, Muggsy Bones at five foot two, playing in the NBA 14 years, deserves Hall of Fame status. A really young group and just molding them as the season has gone. Matt Painter has, has done a fantastic job with Purdue this year. And Finnessy has had a good night missing. Hey, Kevin. Walker wrapped it around, got it into the paint, and we're going to get a foul after the ball was dislodged. Oh. There's no question about that. As is that, and Zed Key continues to pound away inside. Could All right, going to the break, we mentioned what's at stake for both these teams. Ohio State trying to get itself a one seed. Michigan State right now is out of the field. Joe Lenardi said three, maybe four wins down the stretch will help that. You talk quickness. Michigan State attacking quickly with Gabe Brown. Miller trying to get it going for Illinois. One and done go the Illini. Up the and that's the way you defend. A guy like Al Desumo, as you go at him, make him defend. I hope can't connect there. Rebound. A different team. You never want to put it on one guy. They are an entirely different team if, if Joey Hauser has a game. Joe is going to come from now. It, it, when you're on a, a, a the right or left block, you know where help can come from. Top, backside. Oh, and a bounce finally goes ill for Illinois from Saturday to tonight in the Big Ten Conference. Ball poked free, loose on the floor. Michigan State able the body and finished high. Frazier inside, high off the window. Nine point game again. Something happened on the defensive or offensive end. He didn't sprint. Part of the maturity of being a player 
is just keep play by, <laughs> by Hunter to get it time. He has a heck of a play by Hunter. That's a good tease for the Australian Open coming up. At. And I think for Josh Langford, isn't that five for the game? So that would make 1,000 career points for Josh Langford as Harris. For an open look. Nice job. Bingham looking to create the turnover and Allen sticking with it. Drawn. Recognizing pattern and stepping in to get the, the steal. Tough shot for Teddy. Having a very disastrous performance against a terrific Rutgers team, by the way. They're going to be heard from. Steve Pichel's done some job as she load up, something he does well. This kid plays with a lot of energy. You're suing, puts it on the deck, extends. The other day, first loss of the conference. Played that freshman year together at Marquette before both transferring to different programs. Organized, well oiled team. They're fluid on the offensive end. I mean, it's really tough to break what they do now. Look at his individual yeah. ability. When you play where she can say it's really key how you're going to trail those rubs on the baseline. Wagner lines it up. Off. Yeah, Euro stuff did not work right there. And Henry, <laughs> defense did a great job getting back in transition. Wagner's coming off a poor game. Liver's off a poor game. Dickerson will three out in this game if they're going to get a W here. They're going to compete. They're going to play hard. Hey! Liver's attacks. A really young group and just molding them as the season is gone. Matt Painter has, has done a fantastic job with Purdue this year. And Fennessey has had a good night. Miss side. That time it was just strength. He got between two defenders and then somehow muscled that ball to Aaron Henry. Hauser got the foul. 
Marcel's team in that first meeting in the game right before that against Rutgers late January. This is the Michigan State that I know. They crush you on the glass. They crush you with pistol. When you take a bad one like that, a lot of times it leads to a bucket. How many times are we going to see Dwayne Washington get to his left hand for a layup? I mean, that's been like... Walker wrapped it around, got it into the paint, and we're going to get a foul after the ball was dislodged. And Ohio State has pushed him out and credit Julius Marble for making something out of that broken possession. And that's the way you defend a guy like Aodasumu as you go at him, make him defend. Can't connect there. Rebound. Different team. You never want to put it on one guy. They are entirely different team. If, if Joey Hauser has a game. Joey. Down a little bit. In for the first time. Newman pull up three. No good. <laughs> by, by Hunter to get it time. That's a heck of a play by Hunter. That's a good tease for the Australian Open coming up at Michigan State did the same thing Penn State was doing. Not much movement. Henry bailed him out. Both teams more movement, more offense. Myron Jones will pull up to maybe somebody else argued for Penn State in there, but Penn State's played a lot better of late. I mean, it's amazing how this Big Ten has changed the. Hera didn't touch it down low. Good frame job. Brockington, little crossover move. So Nebraska is trying to do. Banton's got Foster Lawyer guarding him. They tried to run Banton into the post. Michigan State sniffed it out. Goes to the hole. Everybody will get out of the way. This generation, does, they don't like being put on post. That's on Michigan State turning them over fully since January 7th. We know coming into this year, he's dealt with several lower body. So little things Kithier does. He's a heady player. Perkins around the Garza screen. His floater a little strong, but it rattles home. And Michigan State's taking a lot of threes, but they're good, clean looks. Ball handed. That's a deep three. And that air ball will get it back. Having a very disastrous performance against a terrific Rutgers team, by the way. They're going to be heard from. See, Pipe done some job as... Organized, well oiled team. They're fluid on the offensive end. I mean, it's really tough to break what they do. Now, look at his individual ability.
where it's off of the alums, so they're interacting with the current players all the time. Marcel's three off the rebound, Aaron Henry. How'd you like to pick up your phone one day? Marcel in the chest with a couple elbows, and Marcel didn't even budge. Ayala with a deep three, and Henry the rebound. Foul. Extra pass finds Wiggins. Steps back into the corner. His three off the side of the backboard and saved by Aaron Henry. The answer, he cannot. Offensive rebound Wiggins. Here's Hart. He'll try. Hart looking to recapture some of the magic from non-conference play. A game they feel they really have to have to lock up the NCAA tournament first. The three way off the mark from Dante Scott. Impact on his team if he can maintain positive attitude. Smith from his tiptoes couldn't hit that second free throw. Hey, today, with six points. Morcell banging his way inside against Langford. Good defense in the block by Langford. First save. But no passes in that, that offensive set. That's not good. Mid-range jumper, no good. Maryland, four of four. We don't know, but I don't think they have to sweat because of what they've done in the last couple weeks. So you're not suggesting that they should hop a flight back. Livers using that screen set by Davis. Step back, Jay. Doesn't go. Watts taps it over to Henry. Livers pulls the string a little. Yep. Pretty good defense by Joe. Didn't have enough on it. Henry trying to save. He does to Hoiberg. But this time of year, you can change the way your season is perceived. It's almost unfair to compare yourself to yeah. Ken Fouls on Hauser. Off the rim, Austin Davis, one and one, a 53%. Henry's going to need some help in terms of support and scoring. Franz Wagner with the left hand. Henry comes back in there, right up there in the national rankings. They're number two in the Big Ten, shooting the three. And I wonder where is the weakness in their game, because they haven't... Not kidding ourselves. I mean, you can wipe out that game to Illinois. Illinois is a tremendous team. No one's capable of doing it to people. Two curling Durham kicking back out. Indiana 0 of 7 from deep. Game in his Indiana career. And he's only hit four fouls four times. He's usually not in this much foul trouble. He's posting hard in there. They get it to him. Uses that right hand. No good. First half. Remember, we were tied at 26 all at intermission. Jackson Davis, he wanted the foul, doesn't get it. He just looks a little bit of three. And Gabe Brown continuing his high-level play for the Spartans. Eight points, the four rebounds. And now Michigan State. Jackson Davis gathers. Durham, no. And Henry doing it all. He grabs the rebound and is fouled. And the two best players the last two games against the top five teams. That's a three. And it's off by Hart. Shell back in. Ayala over Langford, three. Rebound the high flying Aaron Henry. Back turned to the passer, so he can't put any pressure on him. That's how they go, three, no, Scott. You need to get going. And you look at the way he played against Illinois. 13 points, 5-11, he was efficient. Five assists, one turnover. He is. missed the three, and Brown the rebound. Here comes Michigan State. Henry trying to every night. You think about how good of a player his dad was. Man, he's a stud. The job he's done for him. It was only six. Let's be real. It was nine. I'm doing the play-by-play -play here. Please get out of the way. That floater is good for Henry at Michigan State. The three. The Sulu off the shot fake finds Miller in the corner. The open three won't go. And Henry the rebound. Matchups and you find your niche to, to not play for three weeks and then to come back and in this conference is tough Woo! What a challenge by Bingham with the rejection look you, you don't want to foul, but you also don't want to get hurt You know a guy that size so you, you're, you're there and you're hoping maybe the ball hits your hand so you don't Not to lose instead of playing to win. It's important that Michigan State remembers How they got here hard trying to get a shot off that defense collapsing on Kofi Coburn. Ball loose, out of bounds, and it's going to Michigan State. Big Ten spatula early today. Hauser a bullet. Oh, Woo! denied. Race Thompson. <laughs>
That was really nice curl action. That's more Indiana needs more. So those recent seven footers that he's had, uh, all good players. And Matt was not knocking his former guys, but he said Zach might be the. I just think this kid works so hard and has worked so hard on every aspect. Dave, I swear to you, I'm watching him do a drill at Mishes. They did bring some help, and Williams almost yeah. had it stripped away. Just decided, well, I don't care who's guarding me. I'm going to try to score anyway. And here comes Iowa in transition. And Wheezy off the back rim, no. Henry will break it and take it. Nunji deep. And the rebound, Aaron Henry the other way. He looked much better coming off the bench, Dave. Way better. Meanwhile, on this end, Penn State tried to go fast. Couldn't get the shot to go. Lead even more. The three is too strong. Bribed and fought the jump shot. Myra Jones wants the ball. Doesn't need the three is no good. <laughs> Did he you thought see that the was And you, you really want to capitalize on these free ones. Rebound to Henry. Michigan State since last season in three games. And Maryland right back to work inside to Wiggins. Here's Scott on the attack. Scott, no. Scott, yes. This officially begins when we get our first March. Minimap. Looking forward to that. Pretty sure we're going to get this far. Like to cover the corners, a little dribble drive. If you will for help, kick it. Bogner, dribble drive there for two. Early Livers, ball fake on a three. Smith, wide open look. Off the rim, tip in Bogner. No, follow. These teams are playing with a lot of intensity, emotion, passion. If there was a live crowd, it would be unbelievable. Christian Lander running the show for the Hoosiers. Here's Thompson going up. Missed it. Tapped out, though. Both teams under 30%. Good hesitation and a lay in for Racing. Lander, turn of the corner. Contact in the lane. Jackson Davis has never fouled out of a game in his Indiana career. And he's only hit four fouls four times. He's usually not in this much foul trouble. Hit pocketed right there by Marcel. Three on two. Oh, the trailing Mayala slices for the deuce. Now you see right as we speak an eight-point deficit, Michigan State. Ayala starting in, accelerating in. Oh, his career, and as you said. This has got to be his best job as a coach because you look at Ohio State, they're picked around short and they were not right. It wasn't even close to being short. That was nothing but net. Gabe Brown just flying off that pin down. Watts drove the basketball there. Now you're 0 of 6. You need to get going. And you look at the way he played against Illinois. 13 points, 5 of 11. He was efficient. Five players think that they've got to go a million miles an hour. That's the change of pace. And C.J. Walker just getting right to the right side of the basket. Battling foot injury after foot injury and finally out there and producing as Coburn gets up to the rim. Ten on the shot clock for Dosumu. Dosumu on the drive, left it short out of bounds. for him Dan it is I mean look now Bingham who played well but you you cannot give him room you have to always be touched and that was such a decisive I know I'm gonna score move from Jackson Davis who now has Michigan State basketball right there how Whether many shots did they <laughs> get off four? I think so too Williams get Tom Izzo some good minutes Hunter working his way close to the basket. He flips it up and in. The ball for Purdue, but it's a ragged possession. Shot clock down to five. Eric Hunter goes to the bucket. Flips it up and in with a foul. Weak side, wide open three. Connor Mack, no short. Garza in there, rebound and stick back. Plus the foul. Court early. Here's Garza across the lane. Right hand off the heel. No, knocked out of Nunji. Posted up, across the lane, jump hook, short. 
offense from somebody. Hera down low, got great position, draws the foul. What Nebraska's trying to do, Banton's got Foster Lawyer guarding him. They try to run Banton into the post. Michigan State sniffed it out. Turnover on that possession for Michigan State. See what Nebraska can do with it, and they turn it over. So again, a little bit of the sloppy net guard. Stands at 6-9 here for Nebraska. Udra Ogo is coming off the bench here for the Huskers and strong off the... Be careful with the rock. We see there five of the seven from Nebraska's steals here tonight. Kirby Arneson trying to finish with the left hand. Doing it too, just not forcing the issue, taking whatever the defense presents. A hard take to the cup. It's we had to take it. Thomas had a lot of good things to say about him after the Ohio State game. Played a season-high 16 minutes in that one. Good hit, good pass from Garza to the... Disastrous performance against a terrific Rutgers team, by the way. They're going to be heard from. Steve Puckle's done some job as suing... today so maybe you're not as nervous come selection Sunday ball knocked free underneath and the stoppage that'll be a hill Nebraska has beach volleyball you know what I mean not I'm a lot of beaches in Nebraska hey, Aaron too late for the Spartans who trail by 13 well, they can learn a lot from this game can the Spartans <laughs> Davis in the low box, really good for nice hands. Nice defense. Henry, Henry creates. Potts misses again. He's going to put pressure on you in the running game. Turnovers. Steal by Aaron Henry. Pull it. It looked like the pass caught him a little bit off guard. Another turnover. Look at those three point numbers at the bottom. Indiana just one day. Big time players step up and make big time plays. And that's Aaron Henry doing it right there on both ends of the floor. Got his hand in team in that first meeting in the game right before that against Rutgers late January. This is the Michigan State that I know. They crush you on the glass. They crush you with physical. That's right. Uh, Kansas Baylor, by the way, you saw slide into the screen coming up this weekend. That'll be a heck of a game as Baylor tries to stay undefeated like Guns. I imagine any guard who can be mentioned in the same sentence as Magic Johnson, you're going to like that. Now, turnover by Curbelo for Illinois from Saturday to tonight in the Big Ten Conference. Ball poked free, loose on the floor. Michigan State able to. Wow. No question. Officials are human. Yeah. They don't want to see Big Crazy going nuts on. Goes to the hole. Everybody will get out of the way. This generation, does, they don't like being put on post. That's how Michigan State turning them over. The block. The final eight minutes of this one. And Henry with the steal. But sometimes you got to go get it. And I think Bohannon's got to go be more aggressive just like that. Oh, and had a bad pass by Garza. And he knew it as he... There's Hauser back onto the floor. Barstay's got to get into their... Oh, nice There's little a steal. steal off the inbounds. Yeah.
built around your perimeter players who can stretch the court of Trey Young. Maybe slight size, you see almost a steal here. It is a turnover. And on that ball swing, you had to get down there far more quickly than Cop Show. Now Henry gets the steal. Here we go, folks. Shots out. Uh, Cleves here at Michigan State. He leads a little differently, but he's effective in his leadership. Henry with a basket. Right now, offensive in their half court sets, as wow. you see. Look at that. It's a lot of, you know, missed shots.